housing market update in Winterville, North Carolina. But first, let's hit it. Hi, it's Alan Victoria. Welcome to our channel and podcast. And if this is your first time in our podcast YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe. Anyway. Honestly, we get calls, texts, and emails all the time at 252-327-3357. And one of the reasons we do these videos, especially with lots of numbers, is because you want to know. You want to know what's really happening in our area and not just the scare news out there. Why? Because you're looking for safety and security. You're looking for affordability. You're looking convenience of location. Greenfield has all of that in space. So does Winterville, of course, Pitt County. Um, and then obviously you're also looking for stability, building equity. You want to know what's happening to your home. That's why we're here to talk about numbers. And um, you want your children to thrive, no? Absolutely. You want to show your children to thrive. Maybe you're just looking to check a box in personal achievement. Greenville, North Carolina, Winterville, North Carolina definitely gives you all of these things to where you can actually buy a home much small, cheaper than the national averages. Exactly. And now, we, without any further ado, we're going to start with the inventory, which is including of the active homes. Those are the active and the pending, which is went under the contract and they're going to close in the next 30 days. And then we're going to break that down further between pre-owned homes and new homes. So in February 2023, active homes in Winterville were 62. In March 2023, the active homes were 83. There's an increase. I can tell you why later. Last year, there was only 40. So that's just active. What about pending? Exactly. Under the contract, 41 in February this year, 62 in the March that we just uh, finished it, and 49 in the last March. Right, so pending homes are actually up compared to last year, 26%, even though active homes is up 107. But again, I'm going to mention that new construction soon. Exactly. Now we're going to talk about <coughs> another factor that really is important for the housing market, average day on the market. Absolutely. Therefore, if you're looking at the data in February 2023, we had 30 days on the market on average for all type of home from 100 to a million. And in March, it got to 44. And last year, this time March, it okay. was 11. Well, there's again a reason we're talking about. So let's just, before we hop into that days on the market, do you wanna do, you wanna do absorption or do you wanna hop into a median list price? Median list price. Median list price, awesome. Okay, so in February 2023, median list price in Winterville was 362,775. March went, actually went down, so look at that, you know, month over month decrease, 345 for list price. Last year at this time, it was 282,498. So year over year change is still up 22%. Exactly, but the good news was it dropped from February to March. If you're Median buying. sell price, those that they are real because they were selling for, not for wishing for or leasing for. 285,000 for February 2023. 265, don't, don't forget, 265 for March 2023. Last year, March was actually 289,950. All right, so it has been down on medium list price, but again, we're gonna break that down really in a one minute to where homeowners don't freak out at all. Therefore, for all type of house, including condo, uh, townhouse, and single family home, for the new one, new construction, we're talking about $158 per square feet. Now, for all types of home, for pre-owned is $134. However, if you're looking for just single family home, either new or pre-owned, it's actually the same number in Winterville. Which is $160. Another good news for home buyers is price reduction. The price reduction in last month actually was 10 price reduction. Uh, and uh, now, what happened to the sold to listed ratio? Now here's if you're a home seller, don't freak out because it actually increased 23.3. Now I told you a minute ago that I had a, an explanation for a lot of those numbers and here it comes, new construction. There's a lot of new construction in Winterville that wasn't always there last year. So did we actually have a month of 4.1 month supply of new construction homes in Winterville. Which whereas, last month actually was 3.7, therefore we definitely had increased that one. Whereas previously owned, what has happened? It's just 0.4%, which means even went lower, last month was 0.6, now we are talking about 0.4. So we're, if you're in Winterville, we're all just staying in our homes right now. Um, all construction is 1.1, but I told you before, uh, that list ratio and all of that stuff was really getting knocked because again, there's a lot of new construction happening. Now, let's talk about the home value at this time, this time of year, March 2023. We are in April, but this is for the March data, 
$260,116 for average Whereas house. last year, that same March 2022, it was two hundred and forty-seven forty-six. So there is an increase of 8%. Exactly. Now, look at the crazy rental market. Yeah. The month over month rental market in Winterville, North Carolina, actually increased hundred fifty dollars therefore Crazy. we went from 1450 for all bedrooms from one to five bedroom from 1450 to 1600 all in a month right so that is a big huge jump now so let's break this data down really a little bit more so inventory actually rate has decreased a lot in winterville especially if you take out that new construction then we have almost no homes exactly Therefore, but more homes sold respect to the last month. Again. But the house stayed in the market longer, as we said. New construction. Exactly. And we had 10 price reduction and super crazy hot rental market, of course. Right. And we see that people definitely want to stay in Winterville. People are still coming in Winterville and homes are still appreciating in Winterville. So if you're a home owner like us who actually live in Winterville, like we do, we're still in an amazing situation to where that's why we're saying because people want to be in Winterville. Let's talk about the points for the home buyers. Right. You can do that. I just did sellers. Well, the home buyers really looking at this. The first, the last thing that we said is crazy rental market. Yep. 1600 for median for all type of <coughs> bedrooms in Winterville. That is crazy. But also we can say that inventory decreased which means less homes for you. But the good thing is the houses that come to the market, they stay longer respect to the last year, which is a really good news for you. And, and if your home buyers is still, when you buy, as my wife said, is still, you're looking at stability and home prices are still is appreciated. Absolutely. Overall, our market is appreciating. We're not in those other crazy markets. I know that we see all the scare news out there, but that's when we look at the actual data of what's happening in our neighborhood. It is a very different scenario. So we are still keeping our, our appreciation. Exactly. Thank you for watching our YouTube and listening to our podcast. And please call us and don't forget to subscribe in our channel to support our channel.